what's up everyone welcome back to my channel lush foliage so i have just done a nod cutting on my cebu blue pothos unfortunately i did not record it but there is nothing much you have missed uh, it is basically that i have done a cutting on this uh, cebu blue basically uh, the upper portion these were the nod area where i have uh, done the cutting so I just wanted to shift uh, this particular portion of uh, the Cebu Blue Pothos onto a new uh, pot along with the coir rope pole. This is the new coir rope pole that I have made. And a lot of you guys had questions related with how well do these uh, coir rope poles tend to work. They definitely work out really well uh, when you tend to mist them. Of course, they tend to dry out really fast as compared to the sphagnum moss pole. Uh, but they work exactly the same way how the sphagnum moss pole or uh, other type of poles tend to work. Uh, this also tends to work out really well. It tends to retain moisture but not for a very long time. Uh, I'm going to show you the example over here because uh, this cutting was also attached to the older uh, coir rope pole and you can see the amount of uh, aerial roots because it was attached to the pole like this and you can see the amount of uh, aerial roots and the nodes that are uh, growing on this particular uh, stem. Ample amount of uh, aerial roots and that is what is very important. So I was very happy with these poles. Now, of course, the coir rope pole in the older pot was very small. As you can see, probably it was uh, two feet or three feet. And now the one that I have made, the recent one, uh, this is around uh, five feet and nine inches. This is by far the largest coir rope pole that I have made. And now it's time to add our Cebu Blue Pothos cutting into the pot. Now, of course, when I'm going to put it or attach it to uh, the coir rope pole, it is not going to be stable because it is just a cutting. We have to secure it uh, with the coir rope pole. So I have these green Velcro tapes that tend to work out really well. These are especially made for epiphytic plants. So I will be using this and these can be reused multiple times because once the aerial roots uh, start to attach themselves onto the pole, whether it's the coir pole or sphagnum moss pole. Uh, the plant becomes stable, it is secured and then we can reuse uh, these green velcro tapes uh, once the plant is completely secured. So it tends to work out really well. It's like a one-time investment. It's not like you buy it once and the velcro tape is used only for one plant. You can reuse it multiple times. So I'm very happy with this. Now it's time to add our uh, cutting into the soil. Of course, I'm going to make a small little tiny hole into the soil uh, wherein we are going to push our uh, Cebu Blue Pothos stem. We have to be a little bit gentle because the stem is uh, very delicate. It's very fragile at this point of time because we have just made the cutting. I will also ensure that the aerial roots are wrapped around the coir rope. Uh, so I'm just going to fix them like this and then I have my velcro tape which I will attach onto the pole. It's a little tricky initially to uh, you know attach the uh, velcro tape but it tends to work out really well. This is what I have been using for almost over a year and uh, these tend to work out really well to secure your plant uh, with the pole. So. I have uh, kind of tucked the aerial root into the Velcro tape, uh, you know, kind of uh, keeping it inside and attached to the coir rope pole because those aerial roots are very, very important because that's what's going to secure the plant in future. And as you can see, it's hardly visible. The Velcro tape is hardly visible because the leaves tend to cover it. Doesn't look very tacky. A lot of people are very much worried that it's going to aesthetically uh, spoil the look but it kind of hides it and here is the uh, back portion of the pole you can see it's very well secured uh, very happy with this and hopefully that the Cebu Blue Pothos is going to trail because as I said uh, this is one of the largest uh, coir rope pole that I have made so far uh, five feet and nine inches so it's going to be exciting to see how the plant grows onto it. 
So that's about it. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.